Hello everyone, here is Pelodas and welcome back to a new tutorial. This is a quick tutorial how to create a rig for a shoulder bag. It was asked from the P2 design community. So here the quick tutorial. First I add a bone and place it from the shoulder of the character to the middle of the strap. Extrude another bone to the back. And for the back, I also extrude another bone. So, I will disconnect these bones. And we have... So this is the lazy way. Um, I could now make here a, <clears throat> a rating for the back. And the strap to these two bones and give you simply a stretch to constraint. This, oops, I also need to give the backbone apparent to the first um, strap bone. And now this is the fast and the lazy variant of this rig. Um, if it's, yeah, <coughs> if it's Enough for you, you can use it, but now I show how to make the expand rig, and that's pretty simple. I duplicate here a bone and making from the middle of the front strap a little chain of bones to the to this uh, um, ball bone of the yeah. My English sucks again, so sorry for this. Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to find the right words. But I hope you know what I mean. Um, I do the same for the back. So that we have the maximum of needed controls. You of course can use more. Or less bones it's up to you how do you want to use it i have for example use now for the opposite side <clears throat> um just two bones instead of three maybe adjust this here a bit So, we have now this, yeah, the chain of bones, and these are the deform bones for the strap. So I simply select them, and as you already see, I use the bind button from Autorec Pro because it's so much more handy that I can say only selected bones. So, that's now the, yeah, the, the deform building. Um, now I add by these two bones, I extrude um, controller bones, the same for here. And first I clear the parents. So, the backbone gets child off of this bone. So, and... Yeah, oh, that works too. You can keep the stretch to, to this bone, or you can change it to this bone. But it seems that makes not really a difference. But I expand the stretch two constraints to these two, to these two bones here, and also make it with the following bones. We have here a nice stretch two chain, like this. So now, if I move this bone, 
I would like that also this bound uh, makes a slightly follow to this bound. So I just add a copy location on local space with a influence of 0 0.5. I can simply copy this to this bound. And now we make it similar with the following control bounds. Copy location, local space, 0.1 influence. Same on the back side. Like this. And now uh, we also need to uh, yeah, set the raw of these bounds to zero. So, uh, whoops, this. And here, as you can see, these bounds have a slight follow. We have also really much freedom. And if you go, go here through the mesh, <coughs> you simply can adjust. Yeah, the bounce fault for the lower part of the shoulder back. Now we can make the same for these, yeah, for, for these upper strap bounds like this. Yeah, also raw to zero, clear parent. I would make a parent to this bone. I think I would also do the same with all these bones. If I move this, also this, this is so the root bone also. with all these bones that we have this here as the master root bone of the back and yes could also of course make here another control bone that's also no parent perfect can okay. offset and the same procedure to make a child of chain And like this, we have probably the most um, controllable rig for, yeah, a back, uh, this back rig. Oh, we have no controllers for here, so we fix this also here and here, controller bounds. Again, keep offset to them if this not works, means mostly they already have it. Yep. And these two bones we are making child off to this bone. And then we have um, the possibility to transform these as well. Mm. Ah, right, 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 right. Keep offset, keep offset, and so now it works everything as it should. We have here these controller bones, we have um, this bone, that controls the back as well the strap and yeah that's it so that's the expl exploration how do you make the back rig so it's not really i i wanted to make a short about it but 
explaining all this in a short is too much for a short video. So that's why you get this short tutorial. That's not a beginner tutorial. I also not that good in explaining for beginners to be honest. So it's a lazy tutorial. So you also need just how to add bones to make the parents and to add constraints. It's not that, com not that complicated. Yeah, okay. Uh, then we hear us in another video. Until then, cheerio!